and the ball is out of bounds. Yeah, so right now they're in overtime. Score tied at 32. We'll see how this goes. George School gets ready to inbound. Passes it out. Dribbles in. Passes out back to the wing. Three. And it misses. West Ham gets the rebound. Dribbles up. Splits two defenders. Passes it over. Looking for a pass. Finds one in the box, in the circle. Passes it over. Out of bounds. So, yes, it's West Ham ball near their basket. Getting ready. Passes it out to the player. Misses. Lola goes. Shoots. It's a basket. It's good. That brings up the score by two. That could win the game for them. Draw school. Dribbles up. Goes over to the three. Passes it over. And it's out of mid mishandles the ball. It's out of bounds. Right now it's 34-32 West Town with only 8.2 seconds on the clock. Katir already inbound. Looking for the pass. Passes it in. Oh, five second violation is called. But see, th that seems like an unfair call to me. The ref only counted out four seconds. George School getting ready. Oh, George School calls a timeout. They're obviously setting up a play. Let's see what happens. George School with the ball outside getting ready to pass it in. Defended by Jordan Ware. Can't get it, throws it over, misses the ball, goes out of bounds, West Town ball on the side. That waves that was kind of pointless. Meredith getting ready. Sees the sees the person, dribbles down, and lay up. Oh, it's fouled. See, this foul shot could secure the game. If she makes the one, then they, George School must ha get a three-pointer in order to tie the game and go into more overtime. If she makes both. And the first shot is good. That me This makes it so George must make the three-pointer to stay in this game. It's ready for the next one, which could win the game. Up. Oh, off the rim. George School has it, dribbling up the side. Passes it up. Three. Ends. Buzzer sounds. And the score ends at 35-32 West Down.